friends. I'm glad you're back with us today. Today we're going to talk about stars. <gasps> Let me see. I think I might have a poem about a star. Are you ready? Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Have you ever made a wish on a star? Have you ever looked up at night and looked at a star and thought, star light, star bright, I wonder what I wish tonight. Have you ever wished on a star? You might want to try that on a night when you can see the stars. Kind of cloudy outside tonight, but you might be able to see them one night soon. So think about that. Look up and see if you can count the stars. How many can you count? Look at the beautiful sky and see what you can see. I have a little story about the stars. It says, what is a star? And there's a question mark. We know that when we ask a question, we always use the question mark. Let's open our book and see what we can find inside. Oh, look, this book says, this book belongs to, and there's a picture of a mouse. Do you think it's a mouse's book? It's actually Miss Ager's book. I just never wrote my name in it. So here we go. Let's see what we can find out about stars today. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. And I do wonder, what is a star? Let's look on the next page. Do you know? I know. Each star is a big, hot ball of gas. The stars look so little because they're so far away. The stars are so far away, you would never be able to reach up and touch one. Oh, Miss Owl knows that. One shiny star we know is called the sun. It is closer to us than any other star. That's why it shines so bright and it looks so big. Do you think you could ever touch the sun? No, the sun is like a big ball of fire. It's so hot. We would never be able to touch the sun. All the stars shine day and night. When the sun is out, it's so bright. We cannot see the light of the other stars. Did you know that there's stars in the sky all the time? Not sure I knew that. But there's stars up in the sky all day long. We just can't see them because it's too bright. As the sun sets, the other stars can be seen in the sky. Let's look at these stars. Do you see the sun going down over here? And look what's happening. The sky is turning dark and the stars are all appearing. And look, the little animals say, look up there. They're looking at the stars. No one knows how stars begin. Scientists think that the whirling dust and the gas in the space from the stars, they grow bigger and bigger as they whirl like tops. You know, God made the stars. We all know that. The star becomes hotter and hotter as it grows and the heat makes, the, makes it glow. And that lights up the sky at night. No one knows how many stars there are. People who study the sky think there are more than two billion trillion stars, and that's a lot. More than I can count. You know who knows how many stars there are? God knows how many stars there are. He told us he knows everything. Stars come in all sizes. The little ones are 10 miles wide. The giant ones are bigger than the sun. They're bigger than 865,000 miles wide. I can't even imagine how big that is. Look, there's a giant star, a big star, a medium star, and a small star. Did you know stars come in sizes? 
stars are far away. The sun is millions of miles away. The star nearest the sun is many millions of miles farther away. That's why stars look so little. No wonder they look so small. So here's Earth, there's the sun, and there's a star. Starlight comes in many colors. Look at all the colors stars can be. The hottest stars have a bluish purple color. The coolest are red. The sun is yellow in color, halfway between the hottest and the coolest. Look at the colors on the star. The starlight shines through the air around the earth. The air is moving. The way it moves makes the starlights look like they're blinking on and off. That's why stars look like they're twinkling at night. Look at that group of stars. Stars are grouped together. The earth, the sun, and all the stars we see in the sky are part of a star group called the Milky Way. Do you think it's a candy bar? Oh, I think it's really just a group of stars that they call it a Milky Way because it looks kind of milky. Within the Milky Way, stars are part of a smaller group called constellation. Can you say that word? Constellation. Look at the North Star. I think this is the North Star right here. And the constellations, the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. So if you look at the stars on a clear night, you might see the Big Dipper or the Little Dipper. You just have to look really close and use your imagination. I know you'll be able to see it. There's one more page left. Stars are millions of miles away. Stars are different sizes and colors, and stars are grouped together. They light up the night sky and they twinkle. I think that's fabulous. So I want you, as soon as you're able, on a starry night that's clear, to go out and look up at the stars and see how many stars you can see and count. Well, that's all for today, so I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.